I've always been interested in that moment after the shutter is clicked. And there's that separation with photography where, where you're capturing that, but then what happens after that moment? Contemporary collectors, be they painting collectors, sculpture collectors, really are looking to broaden their collections. And I think photography is an incredibly relevant medium, of course, and in a lot of ways it's the medium of the moment. I think APAD is a wonderful place and venue to fill in missing areas within their collection. It's one of the things that I really have always loved about photography. It's never been static. It's always been about the evolution of the medium, be it from paper negatives to glass plate to platinum, gum bichromate. It's always been about how to evolve that image, that message. And in that sense, contemporary tools one of the real crossing points in the history of photography and the history of the market was definitely in the late 1990s when Christie's in particular split from their post-war department to create a contemporary art department. And in that department and in those sales highlighting the Dusseldorf Academy photographers like Andre Skursky, Thomas Struth, Thomas Roof. And the reason that I'm bringing that up is because that really highlighted a new form of photography in the sense of large-scale color works. And that very much is an inflection point for this notion of the innovation of photography. Photography at its core has been influenced by technology, by science. I do think that the future of photography is very much in the interdiscipline of mediums and materials, this cross-breeding, if you will, of our technology and design. In a lot of ways, I think artists taking their cue from somebody like Andy Warhol, who very much his practice was based in photography, and yet with the silkscreen process and the end result in a lot of cases being painting, or Wade Guyton using the printer to create his works of art, I think photography and photographers will look for alternative processes, alternative ways with which for the end result to perhaps be photographic or be on photo-based paper, but nonetheless a cross-fertilization of mediums. Definitely seeing a lot of experimentation around process-driven artworks. Artists who are manipulating base materials of analog photography, so be it cheat film or photographic paper itself with the use of chemistry, so artists who are abrasing sheet film. This is really a throwback to the early days of photography, be it Christian Shad or Maholi Naj, Man Ray, of course, even back to Anna Atkins. The very simple use of objects and chemistry directly applied to photographic paper. This notion of, of process is really big and, and we're seeing, certainly seeing a lot more of it today here in the gallery.